In this SketchUp tutorial, I'm going to talk about how you can use styles. So styles are a very interesting um, part of SketchUp that can really change how your 3D model is looking. So at this point, we've basically been working with the same style in every view so that as we painted our model and moved throughout the space, we're able to see the colors and materials and that type of thing, um, which is a really nice way to work. But one of the benefits to SketchUp is that it can have, well, a sketchy hand-done look, which is what some people really like to do. So to get to Styles, we can go up to Window and Styles. So here we're just going to be covering the basics of how you change them. You'll see that this is coming up at a default list of assorted styles. Much like the paint bucket, if I hit this drop down, you'll see that we have some different options. Default styles are the most basic, and as we click through these, you'll be able to see this model in different views. You're not changing the model in any way, only how it's represented in this particular view. So um, if we go through, you'll, you'll be able to see how they change. So um, some of them make a bigger difference than others. If I you know, click on each one, um, you know, here this is in hidden line, for example. So if you do something where you like to um, just create the model and then draw on top of it by hand, that's a great way to go. Um, we can do it with shading, shading and textures. So you see there the difference is just averaging out the color. So you're noticing the brown floor here. But shaded with textures will actually show the wood on the floor. Um, this would be called simple style. Here it is in wireframe or x-ray where we're actually able to see both the texture and the color but it's translucent almost like everything's made out of acrylic or something so we can see the space basically in x-ray mode but with a hint of the color over it so those are all default styles if we go through there will also be things like photo modeling sketchy edges a, a whole variety of different styles that you see that you're able to pick from if we go to assorted styles, it'll give us uh, a variety of different looks. For example, here would be pencil on tracing paper, so it has a very different look than we've been working in. Um, brush strokes on canvas, so it has sort of that canvas look to it, and so on. There's a lot of really great different options in here. When you find one that you like and you want to keep it, remember that you need to go up, right click on your scene tab, and say update. As you're working, you might decide that you like some styles a little bit for one reason, some for another. So you'll see that you can actually go in and edit them or even mix them. Okay, so some of the basics of the editing process here is where it allows you to change the edges on this first box. So whether or not you see edges. So if I turn edges off, you see that they totally disappear. And in this particular look, it, it actually just looks like cut pieces of paper, but it's kind of interesting. So we have edges, and then whether or not we're seeing profiles, for example, and how thick that is. And there are so many different options here that you can play with. We can change the faces, if it's transparent or not, and so on. So there's a lot of different options here that I encourage you to explore and make different styles your own and, and get them so you are represented in these styles and they're not just the generic ones that SketchUp comes with. Most importantly, remember that you find it under Window and Styles, and then when you find one you like, you right-click and update so that as you move from one view to another, you can see that the style actually comes with it and changes.